Welcome back, good friends, to another 101 with Adonis Rango here. Now, for today's topic, I want to take you guys through how to differentiate haters to conflicted people, to broken people, to people of peace. Previously, we discussed what makes a hater a hater, how to identify them, and most of all, how to beat a hater. Now, what do we know so far about haters exactly? Haters will typically aim to irritate you and to get their kicks out of cheap, foul pleasure. They confidently refuse to provide any source of justified reason. They refuse to provide any logic, and nothing about their stance is ever portrayed honestly or legitimately. So now that we got the haters out of the way, let's go ahead and bring our focuses over to the conflicted people. Candidly, my friends, if you can identify a conflicted person, you can sure bet you will identify a sociopath. There are so many different categories for all these energies that exist around us. Narcissists, sociopaths, psychopaths, dark empaths, empaths, and even Machiavellianists. Personally, if I had a dollar for every time I've heard people throw those words around and fail to provide the exact characteristics or traits of those words that they throw out there, I believe I'd be a rich man right now. So my personal reason for coming up with these identities such as haters or the conflicted people is to simplify how we identify different energies in this world. For most people, the word sociopath doesn't necessarily click in terms of how it relates to the actions of a sociopath, but rather a bunch of hoopla, nonsense, wild guesstimations on what a sociopath really is. Whereas if you use the word conflicted person, I can absolutely guarantee that 9 out of 10 people understand the word conflicted better than they do sociopath. You see, conflicted people tend to bear the same traits as a sociopath. So what are the traits of a conflicted person? Toxic entitlement would be the justified first thing on the list of those traits, and you can refer to that as either selfishness or self-importance. Conflicted people also tend to be very in denial. As well as being in denial, they also bear the quality of ignorance. Now, respectfully, conflicted people tend to project. They're full of delusion, and they tend to get very hot-headed whenever they can't provide a logic and they realize it. So just like haters, conflicted people fail to provide any logic. Now, although immensely similar, haters and conflicted people hold a major difference between the two. Allow me to paint a simple picture. Just like mosquitoes, haters are nothing to be taken seriously. Nonetheless, they do tend to get irritating when you're provoked by one or a few of them, but we already know that factually, mosquitoes are no real threat. Mosquitoes are just irritating. They just bother you. They get on your nerves. But conflicted people are much more like wasps. The one thing we are always warned not to do with wasps is to try to swat or shoot them away or run away. Regardless, if you aren't careful, you're bound to get stung. See, although you're not intentionally provoking a wasp, the wasp will find the simplest reason to sting you right then and there. Hear me now, conflicted people are the ones that you have to be the most careful with. I've said it before, haters can be very tricky. They can get in your head and annoy you. Now, although haters can be very tricky and get into your head and annoy you, getting annoyed, nonetheless, is absolutely in your control, which is why I stated you must hold yourself accountable and do not fall victim to the games. Conflicted people is a different story. No matter how well you hold yourself together, conflicted people will dig for a fight if you disagree with them. I've personally dealt with conflicted people all my life and it is damn scary. Conflicted people tend to never reflect, but once again, they project. When a conflicted person bears the traits that we discussed moments ago, they don't necessarily acknowledge it, but rather they're subconsciously aware of it. And although they could be having an exchange with a person of peace, they still intend to make it seem like that person is the one who bears those traits. It's ironic, isn't it? Projection, denial, and believe it or not, attempting to reassure conflicted persons are only gonna make the matters worse. So as we have familiarized ourselves with what a hater is and what a conflicted person is, I'm going to go ahead and bring our attention over to the broken people. Now the broken people are personally my favorite. Now that's so weird though, right? Why would the broken people be my favorite? Candidly, my reason being for favoring the broken people is because I know what it takes being a broken person. Unlike conflicted people and haters, broken people tend to mind their business. 
Broken people usually tend to cower at the overwhelming pressure and energy of haters and conflicted people because it's always negative energy. The thing about broken people is that along with being dealt a bad start in life, they were given no guidance. They've had no role models. Generally, broken people stem from a background of abuse, abandonment, or confusion. Broken people want to be mended, they want to be understood, and they need a hand. And where there is broken people is also opportunity for people of peace to step in and take initiative. And with that, I would like to go ahead and conclude this video with the people of peace and giving them the spotlight for a second. The irony and the people of peace, they were at once themselves conflicted people, haters or broken people. We all began our life on a blank page and as the years have gone by, who we become is all a sum of everything we've been taught. Now that is until we each individually make the decision to alter our fate. We can all change, my friends. It's a tough journey to change, but we can all do it. We can all make it happen. We can all grow. We can all get stronger. We can all improve. We are all absolutely better than this. And to become a person of peace is not to become a perfect person. It's to become an unbreakable person. You cannot compete with somebody who is obviously at one with themselves. Because at the end of the day, you as a conflicted, or you as a hater, or you as a broken, knows no better than a person of peace. Because you've not been willing to step outside of your comfort zone and learn something new. People of peace have, and that's why they are who they are. People of peace have but once upon a time been a conflicted person, been a broken person, and been a hater at some point in their life. And it took them a lot of sacrifices, a lot of challenges, and a lot of suffering, and a lot of turmoil to become one with themselves. Hear me now. It takes absolutely every last bit of challenge, every bit of self-reflection, every bit of change, every single bit of sacrifice to become a person of peace, one with yourself, and a solace, solid energy. You must sacrifice. Sacrifices come with cutting off certain energies from your life. People who you might love, near and dear, so deeply to your heart. Once you have identified what it could be like to be a person of peace, making those sacrifices means so much more to you than to stay in one place like the conflicted or like the haters or unfortunately like the broken. If you are a person of peace or if you are dealing with a person of peace, understand that people of peace will always aim for the positive outcome. And in exchange, it will never be logical to assume that a person of peace is at all the problem because they don't have time for it. They've done their self-reflections and you have not. Conflicted people will swear from the soil to the sky that even a person of peace would break their peace just for a single second for them. At any moment you hear somebody comparing perfection to peace, you are dealing with a hater or a conflicted person. People of peace wish peace upon the rest of the world, not conflict. It is only haters and conflicted people that keep the negative energies thriving in this world. We have to put a stop to them. Become a person of peace today. I hope that you all have found this as a valuable lesson today. As usual, my friends, live in solace, become one with your energy, and simply walk in peace. I'm your good friend Adonis Ringo, and I very much look forward to having you guys on the next.